I know I'm pretty late for the news, but apparently the Dead Space 2 remake has been put on hold. This happened two months ago, but I haven't got the time to make a video on this. This video idea was brought up when the time when the news released that Dead Space 2 remake was going to be put on hold. Oh, let's just get right into it, because apparently the Dead Space 2 remake was going to be put on hold because Dead Space 1 remake didn't sell as well. It only sold around 2 million units. It's impressive for a game, but EA didn't want the game to be sold 2 million units. They wanted to sell 5 million units. Which is very high expectations for a horror game. Oh, Dead Space is a classic survival horror game, but still this is a little bit too much expectations for this type of game to sell 5 million units. Especially with the reputation of EA, well many people don't really like EA so they might not go out and buy this game. But still nonetheless, even though Dead Space 1 Remake didn't sell as much as that EA wanted to, it still had a lot of great reviews on it. Despite a lot of people playing it, EA is not going to greenlight Dead Space 2 Remake in any time soon. It is mostly EA's fault because they put too much high expectations for this type of game. As people do enjoy the Dead Space franchise, but to sell 5 million copies is way too outlandish. And this is not the first time EA has done this. They've done this four times. This is their fourth time doing it with the Dead Space franchise. And then so, just like in my style with the Activision video of how they ruined modern zombies today, I'm going to do the same thing with EA how they ruined Dead Space. So I'm going to give every little extra detail with every game that got released. And also to a little bit of history on them too. And so let's start with the first Dead Space game, the one that came out in 2008. It's just titled Dead Space. Now one of the big reasons that Dead Space came into existence was due to the success of Resident Evil 4. Without Resident Evil 4, we wouldn't have not gotten Dead Space. Because originally Dead Space was going to be a System Shock sequel in the third entry of it. The creators were heavily influenced by Resident Evil 4 and changed the whole gameplay into that type of style. Which is over the shoulder camera type of style. And well thanks to Resident Evil 4, it helped repopulate the survival horror genre. And EA was more taking a risk with Dead Space. Because EA gave the green light for this team. Which they were called EA Red Shore at this time. Just for Dead Space took a long time. Especially for the prototype phase. Because originally they developed for the original Xbox. But thanks to new generation and hardware, they had to do it for the Xbox 360. And it took them a long time to finally finalize the prototype and able to make the groundworks for this game. And well, they succeeded in it. Because when it was released, Dead Space was already a cult classic when it released. Everyone loved the gameplay and the story of it. At the time, it was really unique as it didn't have a HUD system. It was more of an immersive HUD that your health would be shown at the back of your back with the rig. And there was only certain parts of the game where you could access the HUD. But with this, it really immersed you into the game and people enjoyed this a lot. Also too with Isaac Clark that he's just some engineer, he's just some regular guy. Really not that trained to handle all the horrors that happened on Ishimara. So it added more a lot of uniqueness to the game. So everything was fine with the game, but EA steps in. Before the game's release, EA went hardcore with the marketing with this. Well, they spent a lot of money advertising Dead Space. Since it was a new IP, so they needed to do a lot of advertising. Since new IPs tend to fall short when making a lot of money. as it's kind of a big risk. But we don't know how much it costs to make Dead Space 1 or how much the marketing costs. But in the end, EA was disappointed of how much it sold. Because Dead Space only sold around 1 million units. Which is a big milestone for a new IP. Because this rarely happens with some new IPs as some of them just crash and burn during the first release of it. But to EA, they wanted a lot more units sold. And so in turn, they considered Dead Space a commercial failure. They don't know how much units they wanted to be sold, but it kind of seems like an outlandish thing. It sold 1 million units. That's a good milestone, but again, we don't know how much it costs to make the game or how much it costs of marketing. This is the first instance where EA makes a mistake. They kind of shot themselves in the foot with this by giving Dead Space a new high expectations for it. It's a new IP, so it's not going to sell that well. Well, they took the risk and I think in my opinion, I'm not in business, but I think it sold kind of pretty well. But we don't know how much they wanted it to be sold for. Still nonetheless, EA wanted to double down with Dead Space. Since it received a lot of praises with it, we're going to go more into the franchise of it. And so in 2011, Dead Space 2 was released. And then so Dead Space 2 received a lot of praises when it was released, as it vastly improved some of the gameplays and story from Dead Space 1. But by a little, if you ever played Dead Space 2, it goes a little bit more into the action. Less kind of horror like than Dead Space 1, but not too outlandish for it. As it didn't fully go with the action, it still kept it the horror and balanced it really well. But still, it's kind of noticeable when you see it, or when you play the game. With Dead Space 2, it got an increase of budget. As apparently to the creators, apparently it cost around 60 million to make Dead Space 2. There are different reports of how much it actually cost to make. All of them come down that EA was kind of stingy with the budget. Creators said that the budget was kind of too small to make the game. They got the game down in a matter of two years. And well, there's another weird part about Dead Space 2, as it has a multiplayer function to it. 
which is really weird. I played this multiplayer too, and it wasn't that half bad, but it was just weird of why did Dead Space 2 need a multiplayer? So too, on another note, this was the time when EA put the online pass, that you need to pay a certain amount of money in order to play the multiplayer on their games. I remember this because Battlefield 3 had the glitch that you had to keep buying it in order to play the game. Sometimes it wouldn't download on the Xbox 360. These are only for the multiplayer function, so this is totally off to the side. But of course, EA is a really greedy company, so they kept this for a little while. But it was just weird that Dead Space 2 had a multiplayer. It seems more like an executive decision from EA, not from the team. The thing was, it was an executive decision, as EA had been trying to get a multiplayer built in Dead Space for a long time with the first Dead Space release. Well, they did it with Dead Space 2. According to EA, apparently putting a multiplayer mode would bring into a wider broad audience. Which is weird because Dead Space is a single player game. It was never brought up as a co-op game at first. But it's just EA being EA, being weird and greedy. In the end, Dead Space 2 was critically acclaimed. A lot of people love it and especially like the part about the eye surgery part. But in the end, apparently from a report from EA, Dead Space 2 only sold around 4 million units. Which is good for a sequel, but not good for EA. To them, they consider Dead Space 2 as a commercial failure, just like Dead Space 1. And to EA, they consider that the production and, well, the advertising was too much for Dead Space 2. Well, I'd like to blame the advertisement for Dead Space 2 on EA, because EA had a weird time advertising games in this era. Especially for Dead Space 2, because if anyone remembers the infamous Your Mom Hates Dead Space 2 trailer, well, that was just a weird trailer in general. It really didn't sell off to make people go buy the game, especially not for me when I was at a young age. I remember seeing the trailer, but it didn't make me want to go out buy the game. When I saw the other trailers, yeah, it made me want to ask my parents to pay the game. It was just weird for EA to do some of these weird marketing practices. But due to the commercial failure, EA was not going to have a hands-on approach to the third installment, Dead Space 3. As well, they were going to turn Dead Space into a trilogy. This time, well, EA is going to be more harder on the decisions for Dead Space 3. And this is where the Dead Space franchise ended, with Dead Space 3. Now for Dead Space 3. And apparently, due to the poor sales of Dead Space 2, Dead Space 3 was almost cancelled. As EA saw Dead Space 2 and Dead Space 1 as commercial failures. But again, we don't know an exact amount how much they wanted to make out of these two games. We knew that Dead Space 2 cost more than Dead Space 1, but we don't know the full cost of marketing or the other stuff too. So now, before, they let the team do whatever they want for Dead Space 1 and Dead Space 2, but now Dead Space 3 was not going to be in full control of EA's practices for what they want to do with the game. And around this time, survival horror was going on a steep end down below. As with Resident Evil 6, one of the big franchises in survival horror went full on in action. No longer horror, just like a Michael Bay film. And a lot of people didn't like this because people really enjoyed the horror aspects, not the action aspects. And so Resident Evil 6 was not really received well. But due to this trend, EA saw the development of Resident Evil 6 and they said, well, let's do that more with Dead Space 3. For Dead Space 2, Dead Space 2 was really action packed, but it blended with the horror really well. It was a fine balance between the two. But with Dead Space 3, what they did with the story is that they went to full action, completely sidelining the horror aspects altogether. There are some horror aspects, but it's not even the main focus. Which is weird because the horror is what led to the series becoming great. And now out of the sudden it's just sidelined? This off put a lot of fans for Dead Space. And also to a lot of horror fans too. Because in the middle it was kind of like a genre swap out of nowhere. And I was one of these people too that I didn't like most of the action packed in Dead Space 3. Another weird thing about it is, is that the team didn't really want to fully go into action. They still wanted to keep the survival horror and keep on with the same style with Dead Space 2. But EA stepped in and made them do the action part more. To them, apparently it will make it more wider appeal. But back to the survival horror aspect, because they wanted to include something that was unique and they wanted to include it because Isaac Clarke was an engineer and it made it more sense to do it, as they added a crafting mechanic, as now you could craft your own guns now. And it fits in the same style with Dead Space. But what went wrong is that EA stepped in, saw the crafting mechanic, and they said how can we make money off of this. And this was around the time when microtransactions were on the uprise. So if you wanted crafting materials, you had to pay money. Or if you want to unlock a certain part early, you had to pay money. Of course, microtransactions weren't that predatory yet, so they were a little bit smaller in money. So it wasn't that much, but still it's a weird thing. It completely negates the whole game if it's just pay to win. There's no point in playing the game. If you just buy the most easiest parts in the beginning, well, you already beat the game. It makes no sense. A lot of people were off put by this too, because this was around the time when microtransactions were already getting a bad reputation. And you could thanks to EA for that too. The thing is, this was an executive decision from Electronic Arts, as the team didn't even want microtransactions at all. And due to this, there was a lot of clashes with the production and design of Dead Space 3. I'm gonna like to say again, this was all EA's fault. 
And while due to all of this, this game wasn't gonna do so well with just like Dead Space 2 or Dead Space 1. But there is one good redeeming quality in Dead Space 3, and that's the co-op mode. If you have a friend, well, it's a lot of fun to play Dead Space 3 on co-op. It's the only good redeeming quality, in my opinion, for Dead Space 3. For Dead Space 3, it didn't come with a multiplayer, only a co-op mode. And well, the design team was excited to do a co-op mode for Dead Space 3. The thing was, how were they going to incorporate horror into it? Because in the final product, Carver is just a regular guy, and that's it. And plus, having Carver and having another friend kind of kills the horror feel of the game. If you have a friend along, well, none of the stuff is going to be scary as both of you guys are going to be goofing off. Especially for Dead Space 3, since it's super action-packed, then sometimes in some areas it gets really cheesy. So, you're going to have a fun time goofing off in this game if you play on co-op. But there was an original idea of what they were going to do. Because they were going to do something unique with a twist with it. As apparently if your co-op character was not even real at all, it was going to be a second Isaac character. That only Isaac can see and none of the characters could see at all too. In a way, it's inside your head. But this idea was scrapped altogether. It was scrapped because EA wanted a more traditional mode. They didn't want the horror elements with the co-op mode. And so, that's how we got Carver. Which really sucks because it would have been really unique for Dead Space 3 to keep on with the horror with your co-op buddy being a hallucination. It would have added a unique twist to it, but EA stepped in and said no. And then so with all of that out of the way, the game was released. And in North America, to report, the game sold around in North America 605,000. Now that's only in North America. We don't know how much it sold around the world. But due to this, it sold worse than Dead Space 1 and Dead Space 2. And to EA, this was another commercial failure. And once again, we don't know how much it costs to make the game, nor do we know how much it costs to market this game. And also too, what didn't help was that when the reviews came in, they saw Dead Space 3 as kind of mediocre. It was alright. But in the end, the team got to finish the game with the Dead Space DLC, and well, that's where Dead Space franchises last left off of. So after this commercial failure, once again, for the third time, EA disbanded the team, and it killed any future installment of Dead Space. And what sucks is that there was a plan of two games afterwards after Dead Space 3, but EA practically canceled the whole series even though they say they didn't, as there was no news about Dead Space at all. And what didn't help was that EA completely closed down the studios of Visceral Games. And that was in 2017 when they were working on the Star Wars project. And so the company ceased to exist to make Dead Space. Now Dead Space was now in full control of Electronic Arts. Which is kind of a douche way to do for EA to do, but that's business. And after this, many people thought there was not going to be a Dead Space at all because the main company was now closed. And while well, the Dead Space franchise was on a hiatus for 10 years because Dead Space 3 released in 2013 and there was no news after that. So along this 10 year hiatus, we finally got news that Dead Space 1 was going to be remade in a remake. And people were excited to see Dead Space again. But of course, cautious because Electronic Arts has a really bad reputation no matter what. But with Dead Space 3, it failed three times for EA. Well, according to them. But maybe it won't fail with the Dead Space remake, will it? For the Dead Space remake. What EA did was kind of an asshole way because they killed Visceral Games and now they're going to do a remake with another studio. But again, that's business when you own a property like this. But what's more of an asshole way is that EA said that single player games were dead altogether. So there was a period that they didn't really want to work on single player games as they work on multiplayer games while making them half assed and well, they didn't make a lot of money. No big surprise there. Which is kind of funny because EA went like, well, why are they not making money? But anyways, I'm not going to go off to that rant. But the only reason Dead Space got a resurgence was that the Resident Evil remakes sold really well and got a lot of good reviews on it. And well, thanks to Resident Evil remakes, EA greenlit to make a Dead Space remake. But not with Visceral Games, a new studio they created, which is called Motive Studios. Now, Motive Studios has worked on other EA projects with Battlefront 2 and Star Wars Squadron. But Dead Space was going to go with a full remake using the Frostbite engine. The Battlefield engine, basically. But anyways, the studio wanted to fully use the technology that pretty much advanced from all the way from back from 2008. So they were going to do a full revamp of the game, but keeping it at the same style and keeping everything the same, but updating the graphics, the design, and well, practically everything. Also adding a little bit new content, but not changing it too much. But it still stayed faithful to the first installment of the game. This time EA let them do whatever they want. The design and production of the remake. So they were hands off, they didn't touch anything about it, only that it was going to be used the Frostbite engine. And so when the game released, 
it received a lot of great reviews on it, just like with the first game and the second game. And it was a pretty faithful remake, so everyone naturally liked it. But in the recent news, it is revealed that the Dead Space remake didn't sell as well and is considered a commercial failure again. The fourth time that it is considered a commercial failure. But the Dead Space remake sold more than the first Dead Space. It sold 2 million while Dead Space sold only 1 million. But it was still considered a commercial failure and has put Dead Space 2 remake on hold. Due to it not selling well and not, I guess, making enough money for Electronic Arts. But Electronic Arts has kind of denied that, saying that no, they were happy with the product, but, but still we don't have any news on the Dead Space 2 remake. And it is revealed that they put it on hold. But either most likely it might even be cancelled. What really sucks too is that the studio is hoping to make a Dead Space 2 remake, but a full on complete remake, like a new sequel to Dead Space 1 remake. Completely new and a different story, but this never came to be as it's now might be cancelled or probably worked in the scenes but not as much. But it is EA of course so most likely it might even be cancelled because they're still in the mindset that single player games don't even make any money at all. This really sucks for this horror franchise because I think it would have done very well without EA's intervention and well stupid high expectations of it. And I don't know how they didn't learn their lesson the first time as they did it four times of a commercial failure as they put too much high expectations on the sales. And then so practically EA killed the whole franchise altogether. And well that's the Dead Space franchise, gone thanks to EA's greedy ambition. But before I end the video and for my closing thoughts, I want to do something a little bit boring as I'm going to do the math on how much each game made. And welcome to the boring impression where I'm going to do the math. You can skip to the end of the video or you can keep on watching. I'll have it time stamped anyways. But before I do the math, there's going to be a lot of variables in all these games. Since we don't know how much each game costs, we only know that Death Space 2 costs 60 million to make. We don't know about the others. And also due to that, we don't know how much marketing costs. I'm going to use an example of how much marketing costs and well this is not really a good example but I'm going to use Cyberpunk. You know Cyberpunk is way expensive in production wise but the marketing budget for Cyberpunk 2077 was 142 million and the development for the game was 174 million. So that could be a good example but we still don't know how much it costs to market each Dead Space game. You can guess that Dead Space 1 cost a lot of market since it was a new IP. Since new IPs need a lot of marketing in order to get attention to it. But again, we don't know what the budget was for each game, except for Dead Space 2. But then there's again another variable. We don't know if people bought the game on sale or had a coupon to buy the game. And this goes for each game too. And another thing too is we don't know if people bought the special editions for these type of games. And so I'm going to use when they were cost when they were released, which was $60. Like the normal copy. Only the normal copy though. For each game. And so with our variables, we don't know how much it costs to make these games, except for Dead Space 2, or how much it costs to market, and then we're going to use how much it costs to buy the game, which is 60 bucks. And then so I'm going to use simple math of how much did EA make on each game. Now this is all speculation, I might be heavily wrong of how much they made, because we don't know how much they officially made with sales. So I might be wrong, and you guys are welcome to correct me no matter what. So let's start with the first game, Dead Space 1. It sold around 1 million copies. So it made around 60 million. Now I'm going to reiterate. We don't know how much it costs to make the game or how much marketing costs. But we can safe to say that EA made around 60 million with the first Dead Space game. But to EA, they consider this as a commercial failure. So we don't know how much they wanted to make with the first Dead Space game. Now on to Dead Space 2. With the production, it cost 60 million. The developers say that EA was stingy with the production value because there's different reports how much it costs to make Dead Space 2 so but we're gonna say it's 60 million to make the game. Now we don't know how much it costs to market but Dead Space 2 sold around 4 million. So Dead Space 2 made around 240 million and this is a lot of money but it was considered a commercial failure again. And again we don't know how much they wanted to make with this game. Now for Dead Space 3. Dead Space 3 sold around 605,000 in North America, but that's the only sales we got. We don't know how much it fully sold in outside of the world. But Dead Space 3 is the least performing in the Dead Space franchise. So Dead Space 3 made around 36 million. Remember, Dead Space 3 was the final one that EA completely cut off the franchise. And so Dead Space was in dormant for 10 years until the remake came. And the remake, again, we don't know how much it cost or to market it, and it sold around 2 million units. So Dead Space 1 Remake sold around 120 million and that's how much GA made off of it. But that's using simplified math. I didn't include any variables or anything else. But this is a lot of money for 
it not to be considered a commercial failure, but again, don't know what the projected sales that EA wanted for. But so far, Dead Space 3 is one of the worst performing in the Dead Space franchise. But Dead Space made a lot of money, but it's still considered a commercial failure, and it's for, for all of these games too. Now this is some pretty good money for a horror franchise to have this, and especially for a new IP to have this. But again, we don't know what the projected sales that EA wanted for. Maybe it seems like they were comparing it to other their franchises like FIFA, Madden, NBA, and Battlefield, but those are two different genres. Probably EA was comparing the sales to them to Dead Space, but that wouldn't make any sense because again, they're different genres. They're gonna sell differently either way. Enough with the simplified math portion. I just wanted to put that in your guys' thoughts to think of uh, how much money Dead Space made for EA. So we're gonna go to the end of the video for closing thoughts. Now I'm gonna say again, you guys can fix some of my simplified math portion because I might be wrong on some some parts of it. So you're welcome to fix it. I will pin the comment if someone does it accurate more than me. But anyways, that's how EA ruined Dead Space. Basically, it happened four times in a row where they put too much high expectations for this game. And but we don't know how much it costs to make the game or for marketing. That's only for Dead Space 2 with the budget. That's it. We don't know how much it costs for marketing and well we we'll probably won't get an exact amount of how much it costs. And well due to this we might not get a Dead Space 2 remake and probably the Dead Space franchise will go on dormant again. Probably for another long while. But I hope it doesn't stay that way because I'm a big fan of the Dead Space franchise and I would like to see another installment in it. EA's greedy practices we will probably not get one at all. So sorry to end the video on a bad note but thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a nice day. This is Mesa Argo signing out.